Okay, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Yuan Zhe Zhang, and I'm a second year PhD student at Monash University, Australia. And I'm very happy to be here to present our recent research work. Uh, the title of our work is uh, Transaction Allo Dynamic Transaction Allocation in Sharded Blockchain. And the key words of this work is uh, the scalability, but it's in another uh, direction. Uh, instead of layer two solution, it's about the sharding solution. So first, uh, let me give some uh, background of uh, this work. So first, uh, our work is foc uh, uh, focuses on permissionless blockchain, and uh, permissionless blockchain is um, basically an immutable distributed ledger maintained by many consensus nodes. And uh, the scalability is a great uh, problem. For example, in the most uh, two biggest uh, decentralized uh, application, Bitcoin and Ethereum, they can only achieve about seven and 15 um, transactions per second. But on the contrast, uh, a centralized system like Visa can achieve more than 24,000 transactions per second. It's a huge gap between the <clears throat> <clears throat> to solve the scalability problem, blockchain sharding is proposed. The basic idea of the blockchain sharding is to parallel processing the transactions. For example, uh, in this figure, we have four shards and uh, the sharding protocol divides all the miners into these four shards and also simultaneously divide all the pending transaction to this four shard for the parallel um, processing. So in this situation, if we have more uh, miners, we can have more shards and so that we can have more throughput. This achieves a linear scalability. However, the, this is the ideal situation. Here is um, a big concern called cross shard transaction. So uh, here I give uh, another example. So the transaction may not go to only one shard. For example, in this transaction, if this transaction uh, represents Alice in shard one want to make some uh, money transfer to Bob in shard two, and this transaction need to be processed in both shard one and shard two, as uh, this transaction will update the state of Alice in shard one and update the state of Bob in shard two. So uh, this transaction, we call it cross shard transaction and it's very expensive to process as uh, the communication between both of this shard is required to achieve the inter shard consensus. So uh, here comes to our research problem. Uh, so in many sharding work, they uh, focus on the efficient cross shard consensus, but we argue that uh, can we find a, a solution to reduce the occurrence of the cross shard transaction, which means we want to develop uh, some algorithm or some method to um, to reduce the probability of of the occurrence of cross shard transaction. For example, uh, if the if the example here, if the Alice and Bob are in the same shard, for example, in the shard one, and this transaction is the local transaction, intra shard transaction. This is. Um, Mm, more cheap to process and uh, uh, we want uh, most of transaction to be the intra shard transaction. And uh, the basic idea is uh, the account allocation um, we are determine the number of cross shard transaction and we want to put the frequently interacted account in together into the same shard. And uh, first, uh, we go back to the uh, 
conventional um, sharding protocol like the uh, chain space monoxide and uh, Omni Ledger, they are very well known sharding protocol in permissionless blockchain. And basically, they re rely on uh, similar uh, account allocation methodology. We call it hash based, uh, uh, hash based allocation. Um, the allocation rule is in the red color. It's ma maps the uh, account address to the shard. By this, they uh, input the account address into the hash function uh, shard to 56. And uh, after this function, they do, do the mode K, and we are. K is the number of shards so that they can map the account to the shard. And this method is quite common in the uh, in the existing sharding protocol. And the advantage of it is it's deterministic so that every miner knows the account shard mapping without, uh, without consensus needed. They just uh, locally run this mapping and uh, they can get the, the the allocation result of each address and it's very fast but um, some concern is uh, the this, this kind of allocation is static and uh, they ignore the historical transaction patterns and so that and uh, they introduce huge amount of cross-shard transactions. And in uh, in monoxide, I remember it's more than uh, ninety percent of cross-shard transaction, and which we are um, huge, uh, hugely uh, damage the scalability. So uh, here comes to our solution. We try to um, put the frequently interacted account into the same shard and uh, we model the historical transaction as a transaction graph and here we here is a illustration of the ethereum transaction and uh, the dot here represents uh, each account and the scale of dots represents the activeness of each account and the distance means uh, the uh, in if they have more interactions, they will get closer. So, so we uh, by this way we we convert the uh, the uh, the tra transaction allocation problem in blockchain to the um, graph partition problem. At this transaction graph, but here is some um, uh, challenges. So first, we can see the graph is not very balanced. Some uh, some nodes is uh, some node or dot here is very large, and um, most of them are super small. So th uh, this imbalance imbalance nature um, introduce some. A challenge to make the workload balance among shards. So if we want to part partake this graph into two shards, we want to make each shard um, a, each shard is assigned with si similar number of transaction to process. And the second challenge is uh, the graph is very large. We know uh, there is a million level account and a billion level transaction in the public blockchain and they are even keep growing. So we want a, a fast algorithm and we want also a deterministic algorithm to uh, avoid the consensus of uh, account shard mapping. And here is our contribution. We convert this problem to a community detection problem on a graph and with a unified uh, optimization function. We will uh, talk about this later. And we propose a dynamic allocation algorithm and it's deterministic and 
it can adaptively update the allocation result, which means it can use the previous uh, allocation result and the newly included transaction to accelerate the uh, allocation algorithm. And uh, so that they can get very fast execution and we conduct we conduct the experiment on the Ethereum uh, data. So uh, here is one motivation example. Uh, for example, this is the um, how say the transaction graph and uh, to to um, to partake this transaction graph into two shards, we can have many, many um, partition results. For example, we have uh, the red one, orange one, and the blue one here. So, but we need to first tell which one is the optimal partage so that we can uh, design the uh, partage uh, algorithm to achieve the optimal. So um, for 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 example, the um, partition one, we can see it's only cut one edge here, which means only one um, cross shard tran transaction here. But the the workload balance is not very great. We can see a lot of uh, nodes, a lot of account, and a lot of transaction in the left hand side. But as a Oh, no, 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 I, I'm so sorry for that. At the left hand side, there is only like six uh, nodes, six accounts, and uh, uh, not many transactions. But at the uh, right hand side, um, a lot of nodes here and a lot of transactions here. So we want to uh, read minimize the cross shard transaction and simultaneously keep the uh, workload balance for this partition or cart. And uh, um, here is our uh, system setting. We have two uh, uh, hyperparameter for the blockchain system. First one is we uh, need a Cost, par cost parameter for processing uh, intra or inter transaction. We set the cost for processing an uh, intra transaction is one and uh, processing an uh, inter transaction is eta. And uh, we have a parameter lambda to represent uh, the uh, processing capacity of each shard. And uh, so that we can uh, we, we so that I, I don't want to go to the detail and um, we can define the uh, workload in each shard and we can define the overall system throughput considering both uh, cross shard transaction ratio and the workload balance among the shard and so that we uh, can uh, only have just one optimal uh, optimal tar uh, optimize uh, optimization target function throughput and uh, considering both two factor and uh, here is uh, the algorithm the basic idea is we loop for all accounts and uh, each account selects the the shard with the largest uh, throughput and uh, uh, the we also propose the adaptive uh, transaction allocator that consider uh, on, uh, and loop for only the newly included blocks and the time complexity is O1 regarding to the total accumulated transactions and uh, account. And uh, the global one, the adaptive one, uh, will be conducted uh, periodically.